Hello, my name is Sean Sangwon Park. I'm a prosthetic urologist practicing in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, recently, I was invited to the Bangkok for the body lab. And this time, it was held at the King Chulalongkorn Memorial Hospital. Training chances are very important, especially with this surgery over the time. What I've learned for the past 10, 10 years is that tactile sensation is very important. So even though I take a great video or I give very detailed anatomic uh, structures for the trainees, it's almost impossible to feel how they should do with the reservoir placement or the, uh, how to measure the corpora or dilate it. I mean, that's why body lab or cadaver lab is immensely important for the penile prosthetic surgery. Fundamentally, uh, doing the surgery on the cadaver is uh, almost about five times more difficult than, than doing the surgery on the uh, actually living patient. Tissues are very tough because it's fixed with the formalin or other methods, usually very tough to dissect and tough to perform anything. I mean, actually, it's a great way to, to get trained with the surgery. Just like we, you know, put our sandbags on our leg and, you know, try to run. Uh, that kind of thing is usually happened with, happens with the cadaver lab. So in this cadaver lab, uh, surgeons, many of them were coming from the Asian continent, especially uh, Singapore and Thailand and Korea, of course. And one of them is coming from the Middle East. It is a very, very interesting experience. The reason why is that Usually when I go to the conference abroad, I or one of my colleagues, you know, among the, all the other uh, two or, you know, 300 people, just we, two of them, us are just an agents. In this conference, on the other hand, two thirds or more than that, I mean, were agents. That kind of feel great uh, that I was able to do it with them. So the first day was a didactic course and the second day was actual hands-on for the cadaver lab. Actually, my friend Eric Chung from uh, Australia was supposed to come here and uh, being the training leader, but he couldn't join. So I <laughs> happened to be the training leader of the didactic course and the cadaver lab as well. Well, it's not a big thing, you know, being a so-called leader, but I'm just there to organize the, you know, timeline and uh, uh, giving some comments about the stuffs. You had to be there to feel the, I mean, uh, enthusiasm and uh, all those joy. You know, Marco Capiche from the Italy and uh, uh, Dr. Al Hathal from the Saudi Arabia and uh, Dr. Salman from the UAE. All three of them were just magnificent as a person and as a surgeon. Their knowledge, their enthusiasm, everything was just great. And all throughout those long didactic courses, it's just that you know we talk about the, with the slides and everything else, pretty boring. But still, uh, it started around 8.30 and ended around 4.30. But actual course was supposed to end uh, 3.30. Even so, the trainees were keep asking the questions. They were really, really wanting to know what they should do. And that kind of thing really makes us feel really great because no trainer want their trainees to be bored or, you know, uh, inactive. But they were really active and we were so happy with them. It is not a you know, one-way thing, it is a bi-directional thing. So trainer and trainee actually learning the same thing at the same time. And then we talk to each other what we know or what we have in question. So the first day didactic course, I believe, really went well. And the next day surgical course was really great. I had to run the two you know, uh, sections because I, I was in the master table showing how to do it. And the, I had to run the other table with the trainees to show them how to do it. So I was a little hectic to run it, running around. I got the reviews or the comments from the trainees and the other uh, delegates who joined the conferences. They said it's a huge success. And I believe that's because we were so into it. I mean, just they all wanted to absorb the, you know, how to do it. And after the training courses, I asked each of the trainees how they felt. All of them gave us a, such a <laughs> interesting comments and you have to see the enthusiasm in their eyes. They really want to get this done. Because treating erectile dysfunction is not a life or death issue. But that doesn't mean that it's not important. Good portion of men, not everyone, if they lose their erection, they lost, they lose something important in their self. So attendees were, for sure, they already know about it. That's the reason why they were so enthusiastic about the course. That's what I think. And uh, one last comment about this cadaver lab is that 
I was so lucky that I was able to be on part of this King Chulalongkorn Memorial Hospital's cadaver lab. They are the, one of the most famous cadaver lab center in the world. They have 150 sessions every year. It is so well equipped and they have a fundamental respect to the human being. When I first went into the cadaver lab, there was a cadaver and over there, there was a green sheet was over them. And there was some necklace like a flower. And then they put it over the green sheet. So at first I thought that mm, maybe this flower is for the cadaver lab uh, joining people to welcome us. And usually I'm pretty pragmatic, so I really didn't think it's important. I took it away from the sheet and then I had to, you know, do my job. So I decloded the, the sheet. I did something else and when I went back, that flower was come back to the right at the place. Someone put it again. And then I really felt ashamed. Because that flower was not for us. That flower was for the cadaver who donated their body. That really hit me hard. Because <laughs> we surgeons are so egocentric and we think that everything is for us, but not really. Trilongkwa Memory Hospital made it clear that they, we should show them a respect. That really made me <laughs> rethink about uh, what I do and uh, how great these people are. That's why uh, I love Thailand more than before because the fundamental respect to the human I mean really gave me a big lesson something I can't forget so I was really humbled by the experience I really thank the you know trainees and my colleagues as well because it's a, such a great joy sharing the same interests together and learn from each other hopefully the same thing someday can happen in my country as well